adding like fractions is pretty easy. You simply add the numerators and put the result over the common denominator. So in this first example, we have one-fifth plus three-fifths, well one plus three is four, so I have four-fifths. And that should make complete sense to you if you understand what we mean by like fractions. We can add the one and the three and get a four, because the one and the three each represent the same type of thing. They each represent fifths. I have one fifth and three more fifths for a total of four fifths. Just like I could have one apple and three apples would give me a total of four apples, or one dog and three dogs would give me a total of four dogs, I can have one fifth and three fifths and get a total of four fifths. Apply that same concept over here. Six nineteenths plus five nineteenths would give me eleven nineteenths. I can add these two numerators directly because they both represent the same type of thing. They both represent nineteenths. They are like fractions. We'll do these two examples on the bottom here. When you add like fractions like this, you get a result that should be simplified if it can be. So in this example, three-eighths plus one-eighth gives me four-eighths, and four-eighths can reduce to one-half. It's always good practice to leave your final answer in, in the lowest possible terms. Seven-twentieths plus eight-twentieths gives me fifteen-twentieths, and fifteen and twenty are both divisible by five. When I divide fifteen by five, I get three, and when I divide 20 by 5, I get 4. 15 twentieths reduces to 3 fourths. So 7 twentieths plus 8 twentieths is 15 twentieths, and that's equal to 3 fourths. Now remember that we can't add things that are not of the same type. So if we had 3 apples plus 2 bananas, we couldn't combine those. Apples and bananas are different things. Three apples plus two bananas is simply equal to three apples and two bananas. In the same way, if we said A instead of apples, if we said three A plus two B, those can't be combined. A and B are different variables. Three of the A's plus two of the B's just adds up to three A's and two B's. In the same way, if we had a fraction or two fractions, that were different kinds of fractions. Like if we had three-fourths plus two-sevenths, we can't just add the three and the two because the three represents a different type of thing than the two. The three represents three-fourths and the two represents two-sevenths. And fourths and sevenths are different things, just like apples and bananas are different things. But as long as the fractions are like fractions. As long as they have the same denominator, we can combine them, even if there are more than two, like in these examples. Here we have two ninths plus one ninth plus four ninths. So all of these fractions represent ninths. And I have two ninths and one ninth and four ninths. So my answer is just going to be on the top is two plus one plus four, and that adds up to seven. I have seven ninths. In the second example, I have tenths. How many tenths? Well, three of them, and also four of them, and also one of them. The three represents three tenths, the four represents four tenths, and the one represents one tenth. So they all add up to, th they are all tenths. So I can just add them up. Three plus four is seven, plus one is eight. So three tenths plus four tenths plus one tenth is eight tenths and that fraction can be reduced. Eight and 10 are both even numbers. They can both be divided by two, so I should reduce this to four-fifths for, for my final answer. That's a technicality, though. The important part is getting this. We can combine the three and the four and the one because these are like fractions. They all represent tenths in this case, and so they add up to a combined number of tenths.